السلام علیکم کلاس ہوپ یو آر فائن سو ایز وی ہیو ڈسکاسڈ ان آور ادیر کلاسز دیٹ دیر آر سرٹن ورڈس وچ آر ہیلپ فل ان بلڈنگ سینٹینسز ان انگلش گرامرس اینڈ دوز ورڈس آر نون ایز پارٹس آف اسپیچ ان انگلش گرامر فار ایگزامپل ناؤن پروناؤنس ایڈورب ان ایجیکٹوس پرپوزیشنس کنجنکشنس آرٹیکلس اینڈ سو آن اینڈ سو فورتھ So we have discussed about verb and noun in our previous classes. Today we will discuss about the third category of the parts of speech is an, which is known as an adjective. An adjective is a word which is used to modify the meaning of the noun. And it are words we use to explore or describe the nature of the noun. For example, if I say that the word pretty doll here the word pretty express the nature or the quality of the doll and then the other example the other analogy is happy family means we are talking about a family which is happy so there are certain other examples of the adjectives For example she wore a beautiful dress ali is an adorable baby so in these two examples these two analogies the bold words are which are beautiful and adorable here are used as an adjective because these two words adds something new or adds some meanings additional meanings in the nouns like dress or the baby so the other example is that fahad likes blue shirt which sort of shirt fahad likes it is blue so she has a red car In the above given example the word is beautiful adorable blue and red are used as an adjective the word beautiful dress tells us the quality of the dress blue shirt explains the particular color of the shirt it means fahad likes to wear or to have the blue shirt furthermore adjectives describe the nouns by providing the information about an object size its shape its age its color origin and the material as well the word origin which is quite new for uh, you guys means origin means the start and the beginning of something some idea of some object of some happening so here are few examples through which we can explore the size the shape the age the color and the origins of the things of the objects for instance it is a big table it is a round table it is an old table and it is a brown table it is a wooden table or it is an english table it is a coffee table now see the word big table tells us that the size of the table it tells us that the table is big it differentiates the nature or the kind of the table which is not a small likewise the word round tells us that the table's shape is round in the same case as with the other examples like that different words explore the age the color the origin material and the purpose of the object uh, the table and all these words are known as an adjective so in english grammar there is an other important thing about the and suffixes so first of all we have to discuss the nature of the prefixes and the suffixes in english means but they are actually in english grammar later on we will discuss in the heading of the adjectives so prefixes are the words which come before the words are known as prefixes for example the word in an and im are known as the prefixes means they are in the beginning of certain words like as we say that complete and incomplete impossible unsuccessful so the other category is known as suffix suffixes are the words which come at the end of the words such as ish ness and ation and able selfish as happiness and activation so on so forth 
So it is the question that why we are discussing prefixes and suffixes in the description of the adjectives. So in this slide, certain suffixes are used which assist us to modify adjectives like able, like able, like adorable, invisible, responsible, uncomfortable, and the word AR which is used at the, at the end of the word is popular, spectacular, vulgar, intelligent, potent, in silent, violent, E and T used as the suffixes like harmful, like powerful, tasteful, thoughtful, feminine and masculine, energetic, magical and scientific. So the word AL used as gradual and educational, the word N is used as American and urban and so on and so forth. After elaborating the definition of the adjective, the role of the prefixes and suffixes in the new modification of the adjectives, now we will discuss about the types of the adjectives. Here in this diagram, we will discuss the type or the kinds of the adjectives that can be classified as adjectives of quality, adjectives of quantity, and adjectives of numbers, which are known as the numeral adjectives. So the first type of an adjective over here is the adjective of quality. The adjectives of quality are known as descriptive adjectives. This type of an adjective shows the kind or quality of a person and a thing. For instance, Kolkata is a large city and he is an honest man. So the adjectives of quality answer the question of what kind we mean. So Kolkata is a large city which is large and the person which is talking about is an honest man. He is not dishonest and Kolkata is not a small city, it is a larger city. So the other category is in the adjective of quantity eaten by someone, not all of the rice eaten by him. As in other example that he has not much knowledge. So after observing the uh, adjectives of quantity, we may say that the answer, the, the, the adjectives of quantity provide the answer of the questions, how much something is. So after in these two categories of an adjective, the other category of the adjective is the adjectives of number, which is known or substituted as the numeral adjectives. This kind of adjective shows that this kind of adjective show that how many persons or things are meant or in what order a person or thing stands as the hand has five fingers, few cats like gold and most boys like cricket. Now it can be examined in this example that most boys like cricket means majority of the boys like to play cricket and in second example there are Few cats who like the cold water, which likes the cold water, or it means few cats, not all of the cats like cold water. So after all the above discussion, it is it may sum up that there are certain words which modify the meanings of the noun is known as an adjective. Few adjectives are formed as with the help of suffixes and the prefixes and there are certain types of adjectives can be categorized as adjective of quality which provides the answer of what kind the object is and the second category is an adjective of quantity which gives the answer of how much a thing is. So last but not the least, the third category is an adjective or number which gives the answer of how many. So. We can say that the adjectives are very crucial and important which are used to add some meanings in the modification of the noun and uh, all this uh, discussion is about the today's lecture. So if you have any further queries, if you have any confusion regarding previous lectures or this lectures, you may ask through your student portals via LMS by putting your comments and in discussions. Stay blessed. See you in next lecture. Oh, hello, office.